Hey everybody, welcome back to House of Virgo. This is Kelly, your host. <laughs> if you're new, please smash that like button and do subscribe. Welcome back, welcome back. Personal reading link is in the description box. I'm still running the special, so go check that out. Um, so Virgo, we're going to check out your November. See what else shows up for November. Um, and yeah, this is a channel for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Okay, so I already... I was shuffling a couple cards fell out so what you have to start with is time to evolve and taking the leap okay so Virgo the situation that you're currently dealing with right now is not necessarily a negative situation it's a necessary one having the awareness to see it from your soul's perspective that you chose much of this before you incarnated is needed this releases the victimhood mentality and pulls back your power we must go through trials and tribulations as an opportunity to evolve i guess that's like saying no pain no gain right how you choose to interpret the situation hinges on your growth or not so time to evolve you have a decision before you what path or basically how are you going to look at your situation and see the silver lining in this and i feel like once you get to that place virgo of seeing that this is necessary what you're going through to your growth that this can actually help you evolve then you can take the leap and then you have to let go of something good to get something great okay even if the situation feels negative but you still are like well i mean this is this is good it's okay but if you don't you want greatness virgo for yourself take the leap into the unknown it can be scary but you are being called to have faith in yourself and the universe if you want to experience the next level of success you cannot stay where you are you cannot stay comfortable okay those are the biggest messages i feel like maybe the most profound as far as your love life goes or just your life in general you can't stay in it you'll never have growth if you look people 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 do things we all know it and we can't control what other people do but we can control our reaction to what other people do we can control the level of how it will affect us and control the level of how much we will allow that and their behaviors to hinder our growth you do actually have power in this situation all right some of you just need to just say not today satan some of you need to be in that sit that place having the courage to not maybe put boundaries up not deal with particular person people places avoiding a call or a conversation a, uh, or a person you got like maybe you're angry that's fine you can be angry that's a valid emotion you can be angry so i feel like virgo i'm gonna touch on these two cards in just a minute that this this overall message here is you gotta decide you're not a tree you can leave and if you can't physically leave, you can set boundaries for yourself and maybe leave in your mind to detach. Okay. Now I will say there is someone here, if you do that, who's going to be become very nostalgic about you or miss you. Okay. Now I don't know who that'll be. Okay. We can find out. It could be a friend. It could be a partner, romantic partner. Could be your job where you're just like, I'm not taking this anymore. If I, you don't give me this raise, I'm going somewhere else. <laughs> and, you know, absence kind of makes the heart grow fonder in some ways. And sometimes, you know, well, all times when you know your value and your worth, you, you, just, you just don't stay in places that are not going to be contingent on your growth. Okay. Yeah, I kind of feel like um, the butterfly here. It's all about your your continued growth and healing your inner child. Your results and choices that you make, it off, uh, if they're not good and healthy for you, often come from a place of unhealed childhood trauma. That's most often the case. 
even if it's acute or chronic, it's most often the case. Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee, Virgo. I feel like um, the re relationship that you have the opportunity to evolve is within yourself. Oh, oh, they're talking to you um, to get you to the next phase. I feel like the biggest message here is take a look at where you felt like you were victimized and take your power back. So if you were a child who dealt with anything on a spectrum of not being treated well, it feels like take a look at that and make change in your for your future make change for your future even if those things you maybe you deal with shame maybe you've had a lot of shame or maybe you had a lot of criticism or things like that and you find yourself projecting that onto other people if that's the case if you have the courage to look inward and even the ability to identify why the reason why you do that with people that's tremendous just a just the awareness is the path to growth right okay you definitely have all right some of you also i want to say apart from maybe somebody else kind of missing you i feel like this is like making new memories virgo maybe looking at your photos of when you were a child or your family dynamic um if you have some blockages or there's pieces or bits of your childhood that you can't remember this getting psychological you guys maybe you miss your child child self right maybe it's time for you to reconnect to that part of you where you had a lot of fun you know connecting to those positive parts as well all right virgo so i'm just kind of thinking are we is this going into a love reading because it doesn't it feels like love for yourself it feels like the unconditional love you need to have for yourself this is what it feels like taking that leap and moving forward making the effort i know a lot of a lot of times people will say you know why do i keep ending up in these same relationships over and over again well you know figure out are you the common denominator in that probably are you repeating conditioning that you've had are you repeating those things in your future are you trying to resolve childhood issue, issues with another person and setting it up so that you can stand up for yourself i mean i don't feel like it's if you feel like that's what you're doing i want to say that um yeah, that's rough. That can cause a lot of problems in a relationship because there's a tendency to make another person pay for what somebody else did to you. And I don't think you want that, Virgo. Okay? I don't think you want that. So I feel like great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. And this is about, you know, I don't know, hugging that inner child. <laughs> Remembering who you were. And that you weren't put on this earth to suffer okay new love this is it for me i feel like with this reading this is the ability to really start loving yourself in a new way really really important and have that heart-to-heart -heart conversation with yourself you know here's the thing if you are victimized by way of criticism or shame the tendency with shame is that a person who is shamed Rather than saying, I made a mistake, they'll say, I am the mistake. And that, that's the definition of shame. The thing is, you're not a mistake. You can say, hey, you know, I made a mistake there and I'm going to own it. But that doesn't make me a mistake. That just means the choice I made was a mistake. That doesn't make me a bad or horrible person. That's part of growth and reframing and reconditioning your belief system. That's what that heart-to-heart -heart conversation is. Even if you need to have that heart-to-heart -heart with just a friend, just opening up that can of worms and saying, hey, that's how I felt, and talking that out, I feel like you're going to be sleeping better at night, Virgo. Even if that's talking to a friend or talking to someone you trust, someone in confidence, super, super important, even letting your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. You know, that's pretty much like, hey, you got some time? Can we get together from coffee? I just really need to get something off my chest about something I'm feeling, you know, um, or, or the way I'm 
is I just kind of need maybe I need a course correction you know I, I don't feel like you want to talk to somebody that's going to take how you're feeling and then disregard your emotions and just dismiss you or to tell you that um, no it's that person's fault I mean if you're a child yeah it is it is whoever harmed you it is their fault it is but now you're an adult and now it's your responsibility to reframe and recondition your your mind and your soul and your beliefs and your heart right that's where your responsibility is because you can't go back and change the past or like the people that you dealt with but you can go forward and change how you respond to people that are currently in your life and you can choose the path that you would like to take in a particular relationship with someone, people, places, and things, right? Change, but it starts with self-awareness and it starts with acceptance. And even just to say, you know what, I was, this did happen to me, but this, this does not define me. This was other people projecting onto me their insecurities or their inability. And obviously, if that's the case, whoever was doing that, had the same thing happen to them and we're all walking around this damn planet all effed up right so man in the mirror from michael jackson they just gave me that that title of that song right we got to keep our own backyards clean not be worrying so much about everybody else's instead of trying to change other people we got to change ourselves for the better to just be our best self and that's a daily task it's daily affirmations help it's daily to work on that and I have confidence in you, Virgo, because I know you're very good at analytical stuff. And I know that you can kind of, it might be hard for you to open up, or it might be hard for you to even identify feelings d depending on the level of uh, trauma that you've dealt with. But maybe that might mean you need to work with someone to help you, right? But this is, we're just touching on stuff. But a lot of this has to do with letting go of blame. Of victimization too, blaming yourself or blaming others okay because blame doesn't help it doesn't help it all it does is point fingers and it acknowledges but to continue continually blame other people places things for what's happened to you doesn't help you heal it just is a way of you dismissing yourself right let go Virgo make room for a new beginning that's on its way to you Okay. Yeah, and then you get that honeymoon, right? So not not in a romantic sense, but and for some of you, maybe maybe this has something to do with a relationship that you're currently in or that you're not in any longer. And it's about kind of taking a look at that, right? Because I feel like I don't know why anyone thinks the honeymoon quote unquote has to be right after the wedding right we can be in glorious relationships and we can have honeymoon days every day i mean the moon's out every day right why can't we have honeymoons um i don't see that relationships are meant like how can i say this relationships are not hard okay only if you don't have the skills to navigate them but you have to first navigate yourself right and I feel like once you let go and start really like healing yourself like every day becomes a honeymoon whether it's with someone you're currently with because you're healing and I don't succumb to the idea that healing is something that will be very easy to do if you're in a tra traumatic situation I often believe if you can get out of a trauma situation that's your first step that needs to be your first step because it's really hard to be healing in the middle of a war zone I mean it's very very difficult if you're unable to get out you know and this feels like an extreme talk I mean if you have ties to someone and it's not going to be easy to get out doesn't mean you can't find a way to manage and heal to some regard right healing I when I think of healing I think of like you know you're in the hospital the nurse is coming along they're tending to you they're checking on you you're resting it's recovery and that's part of this healing journey whether you're with someone or not right but I see this tremendous burden lift off your shoulders um, in in the form of bringing in that honeymoon energy honeymoon phase 
is happiness. It's joy. It's being together. It's loving one another. It's being happy with each other. It's being happy with ourselves. You know, it's it's like that. How can I say that? It's like, a, I don't want to say it like this, but it, that's what they're telling me. It's like that dopamine hit, you know? It's just feel good. <laughs> Go for the dopamine, Virgo. <laughs> Go for the feel goods. Focus on the feel goods. Don't focus on the negative. Focus on the fact that what happened was necessary. Now, in the in the listen. I mean, if you've dealt with childhood trauma, no, that was not necessary. That was some pretty effed up people um, who did that to you. Okay, in your childhood, that was not necessary. But right now, as an adult. If you want growth, because you can't change your childhood, if you want growth, um, I feel like it's it's necessary for you to look on that negative situation and learn from it, okay? So no, you didn't deserve what happened to you. And I want to just make that very clear. Uh, what other people did to you or didn't do in the form of maybe neglect, those things as a child... Hopefully you've healed from that. I know a lot of you have, right? Because you're here. A lot of you have. But I uh, maybe there's some of you who are still kind of like open in that can of worms. Okay. Hmm. There you go. Just what I was talking about trying to get out of a situation. Uh, changing of your residence, okay? For some of you, this might be what this needs to be. Um, you might be in, uh, in a place, symbolically, where you need to get out. And some of you... Um, you might have an opportunity if you're in a relationship and you're going through this healing process could lead to moving in together, you know, which is just a form of progressing a relationship <clears throat> and even getting into a place of, um, getting more serious, you know, relationships are so complex because we all come with, a different set of tools, a different set of perspectives, a different set of experiences. And there can oftentimes be a lot of miscommunication or understanding and, uh, and also a lack of empathy. You know, it's so important and it's, e it's so easy to preach, believe me, these messages. But to, to be in the, in the throes of a relationship that you're struggling in, if you feel like you're struggling, you need some kind of guidance, you and the other person for sure, in order to have not just communication, but effective communication. Communication. There's all kinds of forms of communication, that, but it has to be effective where we're resolving issues, right? Otherwise, if you're just having communication and it's just, hi, how was your day? How's the weather? Who's going to win the election? I mean, that's very casual, but relationships require effective communication. Maybe learning how to be an effective communicator with your experiences or with your feelings. Okay. In the case of being involved with someone who's extremely like on the far end of selfish. Mm, if you feel like you've been dismissed by somebody or you feel that way now where you just, you try to be, you try to open up to have that conversation and they use that against you. You got to like discern that. And that's not to have the, that's not the person probably you should be having the effective communication with. Okay. And some of you might need to leave that situation. But for others, you know, we're all walking around like trying to read each other's minds. It's usually the women <laughs> trying to read the guy's minds because Unfortunately, men, it's, it's a shame that men were kind of taught. They really were like big boys don't cry. You know, I mean, we don't want boys that are going around crying at this, the, every, the do drop of a dime, like every two seconds, right? We don't want women doing that either. And of course, with the gender stuff, you guys got to work. You, you figure that out. I'm not going into all that. But I feel like despite it all, the cultural rules... Uh, the societal rules, we really need to break those barriers, right? And especially for the guys, like, you know, it's okay to have feelings. It's okay to cry. It's okay to accept how you feel. If you have a lot of shame, it's okay to address that shame. You're not a mistake at all. You're not. If you've made mistakes, well, you're human. 
I mean, I saw an alien spaceship. I was watching YouTube. And 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 they, they it was a UFO and it crashed. And I'm like, "Wow, man. How how does a UFO crash? Like how, like aren't they like supreme beings? Aren't they like supreme uh the, those 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 crafts? Aren't they like indestructible? How did it crash? You know what I mean? Like I'm just trying to say the only person that I know or that I believe is perfect is is God, is Jesus, is the universe. That was just that's perfection. And I I feel like especially for Virgos, Virgos do have that perfectionist thing going on. They do, you know. There, Virgo is known for that to be the only side that wants things perfect, either on a small scale or a grand scale, within themselves, within other people. And their intentions are not to hurt others. But Virgos will criticize themselves more than anybody else. That's a Virgo trait. Um, people who are on the receiving end of Virgo um, fixing their tie or giving them ways to improve things or just coming across as critical. I, yeah, I feel like it's best to criticize with your left hand and love with your right hand, depending on what hand you write with. But I, I feel for you, Virgo. I do. Because it's like, if you make a mistake, Virgo, man, you'll take that to the grave. Even to the point where you're like, I am not worthy. Like, no. Lighten up. Let your, Like, who said that? The Joker? Why so serious? Have fun, Virgo. Be happy. As best as you can. That's the message. And mana fucking fest. Amen. Mana fast you know i try not to drop the f-bomb here but i just feel so passionate i once went to an uh, astrologer a tarot reader i think i was like 21 my the very first lady i went to and she was i went to her house right her husband answered the door and he let me in i had to sit in the living room you know the couches had plastic all over them and uh she came out and she was like a little old granny and this was like in 1991 or 92. And she was like a little old granny. And she had on like her polyester pants. She had on her white sweat, white gray sweatshirt. And then there was a picture on her sweatshirt that was like on her hoodie. That was like of antlers and deer. And like a beautiful Colorado landscape in the background. And gray hair, pearls. And she just looked like everybody's typical grandma. And then she brought me into her room and she laid out this huge spread. I had no idea about tarot readings. I never, I, I didn't know. And I remember we were sitting there and like her whole office looked like, I don't know, the Brady's den. You know, the Brady Bunch, their den. It looked like that. Like there was nothing. There was no crystals. There was no witchy stuff. There was nothing. It was just, it was just little grandma giving me a tarot reader, a tarot reading. And she brought up this thing and, and of course she knew I was a Virgo because um, she asked me and I told her and she I said to her you know sometimes I feel like um, I, I'm, I'm angry all the time right now at 21 you know you're hormonal and all that stuff and she did my reading she goes it's it's not anger I don't see your disposition as being an angry person she said I see your disposition as being um, a passionate person I was like, what? And she goes, yeah, I mean, everybody gets angry. That's fine. She goes, but I don't see that. I see like when you, when you're serious about something or when you, and maybe this is a Virgo thing, but I think I, I, it depends, but I think it might be. She's like, when you're serious, and I, I'm speaking to you too, Virgo, when you get into something, you just like, you get a fire lit under your butt. And to others, you might seem like you're angry or you're, um, controlling and things like that and it's not it's this passion this burning because of your belief in something and your desire to get the message across or your desire you know what I mean so I don't know relieved a lot of it answered a lot of questions uh, and then and I never forgot that all the rest of the reading I think maybe I remember one other thing but I don't you know that was really that helped me actually a great deal right because once I believe I'm convinced of something, I'm so incredibly passionate about it, it doesn't ever leave. Is that you? Are you like that, Virgo? I think you probably are. So yeah, like I said, this reading seems to be 
really about you. And I think that, like, you're the most important person right now. And, that's, and sometimes, we, you know, we're going to look at other people in your life. And we did look that there are some other people, past, current, future, where there is an energy of, like, that it's about you. Because no matter what people say, no matter what people do, like, I know you're going to criticize yourself the hardest. But, no, but you can change the way you respond so that you can, I feel like some of you need some reconditioning, reframing things, you know, and releasing. Look, radical acceptance. You know what that means, Virgo? Radical accept acceptance means taking a leap of faith, even if you're not convinced. Radical, ac radical. Radical is like completely wild. And acceptance is saying okay, right? I feel like this is about choosing a path, okay? The radical acceptance and surrender can help you let go. You might be suffering from some type of confusion or conflicting thoughts or conflicting beliefs. So I offer to say, what belief do you keep coming back to and what belief keeps trying to uh, what's the word? Dis, dis, disengage that, right? The belief that you keep falling back on versus the belief that's trying to tell you no, okay? I, I feel like you got to pick a path. It's why we have decision here. There's a decision you have to make, okay? Did you suffer from something through childhood or is the opposite voice telling you, well, it wasn't really that bad? Were you involved later in years in an abusive relationship or is a voice in you trying to soften it and say, no, it wasn't that bad? That's the voice of your perpetrator. <laughs> that The one that says you're making too much of a deal about this it wasn't that serious. It wasn't that bad. You're, go you're crazy. That's the voice of the perpetrator. So trust your gut. The one that keeps, that keeps falling, the one that keeps falling, the voice that keeps speaking the most to you. Okay? Not, not, the, not the opposite voice. And, and what does that mean? Radical acceptance? You know what? Even though I'm confused, even though I'm not sure, I'm going to choose the one that my intuition tells me, keeps telling me that's the answer for that. And I'm going to accept that so that you can go forward. Because you, you, I feel like there's something, you, you have some con conflictions. Is that a word? <laughs> Confliction without conviction. You need a conviction. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so I'm not going to take any more of these cards. Let's see. Is there anything else Virgo needs to know? You guys, I was just going to say, oh, this reading's not going to be that long. And it's already 30 minutes. Dang. Um, yeah, but I am going to, it's not going to be an hour. I'll tell you that. At least I don't think so. All right. There you go. I love it. The Ace of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune. So basically, Virgo... This is the passion. This is like, I feel like once you come to terms this week with, you know what? This is the path I'm choosing. And I'm just going to go with that. Once you make the decision, you choose that path. And it, it should be a path of healing. And you choose the path to take the leap. Everything starts to change in your life. Look, the wheel of fortune. The wheel begins turning in your favor. Opening a new door here in your life. This is what I feel like you need to do. You become inspired. The urge to live. The urge to explore. the ur All the urges. You know, especially if you're dealing with some kind of depression. You know, when you're dealing with depression, your urges are very fleeting. They, they, they kind of, like, they don't, some of them don't even exist, you know. Um, and something is depressing you. Or, I want to say, suppressing you. Or oppressing you and I feel like it's some type of prior conditioning right that 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 perpetrator voice once you fight back against that perpetrator voice and say you're wrong I know what is true then thing the wheel starts moving okay because you're putting some gas into the vehicle now 
right? You're taking the gas hose, putting it in the car, wheel starts turning, you got some gas, you're room, 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 ready to go. So it's all about like where you're at right now, Virgo. Some of you may just need to get into radical acceptance first so that you can take the time to heal. You know what I'm saying? Some of you need to just be like, you know, I need to leave here. I need to get out of this job. These people, like it's constant abuse and it's making me crazy. You know, your health, your job is always going to give you like your wealth and status. That's all your job's really going to offer. But your wealth and or your, your wealth and your, or, I'm sorry, your job's going to give you wealth and status. But your health, they're really not, they don't give a shit. You're a robot. You need to come in and perform. And if you can't perform, uh, you only get this many sick days. <laughs> they don't care. Some jobs do. Some jobs, like I guess if you're a cop or things like that, where you can go for like some psychological healing and stuff like that. But listen, it doesn't matter. If you're in a if you're in a career or a job where your health, mental health, physical, all that is on the line and you're suffering, even if you're getting paid well, you may need to make a decision. Is my health more important than my status or my wealth? What's, you know, the gift and the, and the jewels of life, our happiness and joy, you know, you see people on the side of the street, you know, they live in tents and they got their whole family with them. And yeah, it's a struggle. Yeah, it's hard. But, and you also see people, and, but they're, they're happy, probably could be happier if they were, had a more secure type of situation, but that's pretty extreme. I shouldn't use that example. Maybe just people who live in, people who live in gigantic mansions, right? Everybody's like, oh, well, if I had a million dollars. I was this fantastic guy. Blah, blah, blah. I'd be so happy. It's just total bullshit. It's just a facade. It's what I feel like society is like, well, this is what you need to be happy. Get that brand new car. If you're always longing for things, you're never satisfied. It's like people who are like serial daters. They're never satisfied with the relationship they're in. They got to keep keep getting out there and changing relationships because you know, there's something with deep within them that is missing they're not dealing with and they're just replacing and replace oh shiny new gadgets shiny new people shiny happy people they have what i want maybe if i if i just keep going after those people and keep everything surface then it'll rub off, rub off on me and it, that's that's a facade happiness comes from within you have to create that dang y'all I know you agree with me, right? I know you know, because the Virgos, the Virgos know. Virgos know. Virgos don't like the fake, and they don't like it within themselves. And sometimes Virgos could be a little blind to themselves. That's why the Hermit card, look, just what I was going to say. That's why the Hermit card has that deep reflection and illumination, right? But needs needs the light to see. The, her the hermit holds a lantern. It's by the light that the hermit can look within. Because if the hermit looks within without the light, there's nothing but darkness. And darkness, not a bad thing. Darkness, not a bad thing. It does it does cause you to sit with the, the shadows, right? But ha you can have the light too. I mean, everybody is stuck in the darkness. Power goes out. We're looking for a candle. We're looking for a flashlight. Anything walk around the house with a lighter i don't know but you know what i'm saying the light you can have the light with the dark but the hermit goes in for spiritual illumination goes in within for clarity and a quest for personal truth that's virgo and the personal truth is in your secrets in the secrets you've been hiding keeping from yourself keeping from others that little voice that says shh don't tell that's where your personal truth is that's how you get so you might have some blockages to your intuition or maybe sometimes your intuition pops out but you don't trust it the the high priestess is all about the secrets the mystery and it's about trusting yourself yeah whoever hurt you virgo any time in your life it doesn't just have to be your childhood right could have happened maybe later in your early beginnings whenever it happened it, i feel like you know turn this card upside down and let those swords fall out you see the handles they're way heavier than the ends of the swords let them drop out what does that mean you can forgive you can forgive 
But forgiveness doesn't mean you have to reconcile with anyone. That's not a requirement. And forgiveness is not a requirement. That's a choice. And depending, <laughs> it depends. I personally believe forgiveness is healing for you. Who gives a shit about anybody else? If you have a resentment or anger or something burning or pain or something within you from however long ago or just yesterday, forgiveness helps you release that, but it doesn't mean that you have to reconcile. I want to make that clear. You're not obligated to forgive someone, especially if they were harmful to you, and return to them to maintain the relationship, especially if they haven't changed, right? And that goes for you too. No one's going to reconcile. They may forgive you, but no one wants to reconcile with you if you're not making changes within yourself. And that's that goes for me. That goes for everybody. If there was harm, if there was arguments, harsh words, if there was conflict, divorce, loss. Not calling you out here, Virgo. I just think the, the biggest message is, you know, the people who don't like being told they're not a victim are the ones that want to stay a victim because, and I'm not talking about true victimhood, okay? I'm talking about people who have the opportunity today to take responsibility for themselves and to change where they are today. Most people who, and I'll probably get some lash back about this, but backlash about this, but I personally feel like people who choose to stay in victim mode, um, they're not healed. They have a lot of shame. They have a lot of hurt. And it doesn't mean that it's your responsibility to fix them. There's plenty of psychiatrists and psychologists out there. They can go talk in private. But I feel like this is about looking at the times that you were a true victim and not carrying that into your future and saying, you know what? Yeah, I was. Absolutely. 100%. And I understand why I was, right? Somebody else victimized me and probably because they were victimized or they're just born a psychopath, whatever. It's fine. Work on the healing so that, I mean, how many days do you have left on the planet? You want to be happy? Do you want to live out the rest of your days joyfully? And that all starts with you. And you, Virgo, have the courage and strength to do this. Of all the signs, Virgo, you're the sign that has the courage and the strength to turn that shit around. Ship, excuse me, turn the ship around. Avoid the iceberg. You have the courage of all the signs. You have the strength. You have a lot more strength than you know. You have the most strength to self-love. To unconditionally love yourself. To self-respect. And not let anyone take that away from you. That's a funny thing. Is that actually. No matter how hard somebody tries to take your dignity away. Or your self-respect. Or any of that. They really don't have the power to do that. Unless you allow it. Okay, and, and that's where your strength lies in what you will and won't allow from other people. It doesn't mean you go around wielding your sword at everyone and fighting back or cutting people down. It's just basically saying, I may have made a mistake, but I am not a mistake. And you don't get the right to accuse me of being born unworthy. And that's about it. And you got to leave people right where they are, you know, leave them where they are. Whether people criticize you or tell you you're no good or tell you that you keep fucking up. Excuse me, I keep using the F word. I have to stop. Oh, my God. Or tell you that you're making all these mistakes and that you're just really messing up all the time, blah, 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 blah. You know what? Maybe that person's standard is too damn high. They can't even satisfy themselves. It's not your problem. You do what you're supposed to do and you give it your best. But you don't go overboard to try to please anyone or make anyone convince them that you are good enough who gives a shit what other people think who gives a shit what other people think especially in your adult life if they don't accept you for who you are show them the door you're not perfect you're not perfect and if you're shamed for making a mistake well that person <laughs> forgive them and move on Virgo even if you love them. Yep, there you go. Justice. <laughs> I love it. 
here we are at 45 minutes oh i'm not going to do an hour justice libra energy here this is fairness it's fair all's fair in love and war there's a cause and effect to everything you want to be in a winner winner chicken dinner mindset virgo for yourself not in an egotistical way we're going to go around and you know, uh, don't tip this pendulum too far to the other side, going from feeling completely unworthy to feeling like no one's better than me. There's definitely a good thing about humility and being humble. That's definitely a great character trait, but it has to be real. It can't be fake humility, you know, or people pleasing kind of stuff. So I kind of feel like allow the truth to come out of your mouth, Virgo. Okay, you define who you are. You define who you are today, right now. You define who you are. Nobody else, not your boss, not your ex, not your current partner, not your friends, not your family. They may all have opinions, but you know the truth about yourself. And if you don't, find out who you are, right? But no one else gets to define you, period. And those caretakers in your past, um, if they're still in your life, you know, well, that's a different reading, I guess. You're, you're going to make a decision about them. Some of you just may need to not commit to having relationships with them or that one person. You can't fix them. But you can stand up for yourself, and you should at all times. If you don't feel safe with someone, you need to tell them, I don't feel safe with you sorry not going to participate in this relationship anymore and then you need to figure out why you don't feel safe and understand what it is about that relationship whether it's with your mom your dad your brother your friend whomever your uncle your aunt whomever why you don't feel safe and where you don't feel safe if, and if you continue to participate in the relationship you've got to have very strong boundaries that's what the queen of wands does queen of wands does not take any shit from anybody She's not cruel. You know, she's confident. She's self-assured. And she's bold. She's charming, but she's courageous. And just because you're an earth sign doesn't mean you can't. We all have all the elements within us. We all have fire, air, earth, and water within us. But every situation requires a different application. And I feel like in the, in the case of this situation, you're going to need to activate Wonder Twins energy with the queen of wands you're going to need to activate your superpower of courage and strength for yourself all right that was a reading oh yes that indeed was a reading all right let's get some charms and all that good stuff and see who are we talking to okay again 31 august 31st or uh someone's 31 you have gemini Virgo, Scorpio, and Cancer. All right. September 3rd, August 28th. Let's see, 1968, 36, 88, 85, 42. September 16th, 55, 74. September 21st. September 7th, 38 years old, 60, 63, September 5th, September 1st. All right, we have the initial K. Karen? Again, October through December. This was in yesterday's reading, you guys. And what I feel like is this is a message that this is a time of powerful growth. I believe we're in Pluto retrograde. And, and I think, I think there's like a lot of retrogrades going on. I'm not sure if we're in Pluto right now, but I know with Pluto retrograde, that is a time of deep reflection. Pluto is the planet of powerful change. Um, Pluto is... I believe Pluto is ruled, rules Scorpio. And Scorpio is in very much like Virgo. Because Scorpios are ruled by not only Pluto, 
but Mars, they have their tail out, which represents, you know, Mars, uh, Mars energy, fire, passion, uh, assertiveness, where Virgo, Virgo's tail is inward, which is more of an introverted kind of sign. Okay. Um, so when Pluto comes about in retrograde, it's a time of deep internal, which you're really good at because you have your tail within between your legs because <laughs> you're really good at that. So when that turns inward, that Pluto energy, and if it, I think it usually happens in the beginning of the year, but maybe you went through this in the beginning of the year where there was like this, like this uh, life changing stuff going in the deep, in the dark, right? Pulling out that dark energy. Um, that's very transformative. Pluto is a planet of transformation. All right. Anyway, now I give you a little bit of lesson there. Okay, let's see. So we have uh, s the initial C. You have A. You have an E. Maybe Kaylee. I said K. You have Z. You have an E. You have an A. So two E's. Two A's. Somebody's name. Look. W-I-N. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. That's what we like to see. So it's not a race against others. It's a race. It's not even that. It's, it's even... Growth happens when you're competing against yourself. Don't compete with other people. Compete against yourself. Always focusing on doing better, doing better, doing better. Okay, we have the letter B and the letter S. The letter O, we have an H, Q, and the letter F. All right, and I'm not going to go too deep into that. I just feel like if you have those letters in your name, this is definitely... Oh, I just heard cake. Somebody's having cake? Okay, or eating some nibs. Okay, they just wanted to say that. <laughs> so anyway, if your initial falls in there somewhere, this is definitely going to be a reading for you. Let me get some charms. All right, Virgo. So <clears throat> you have a crab. Oh, look at that. Crab is like fruit gushers. Is that what it is? Fruit gushers? Or the, like the soft filling is on the inside. This is you, Virgo. I, I can't, maybe you have cancer somewhere in your chart um, under like your Venus or something, or maybe your moon, which God help you if you do. But um, this is like a hard outer shell and real soft in the middle. You're very protective, very protective of yourself, which can be very much um, a Virgo trait. Here you have a leaf. So yes, you're dealing with the fall. Some of you have like um, uh, fall tablecloths, fall tablecloth or uh, like linen with fall leaves on them. They're just saying. Okay. And you also have a camera. Maybe you're going to, well, that was about your pictures. There might be something about reminiscing here, looking at your old pictures of when you were young. Maybe you've been doing that or you're doing that or you just come across some pictures pictures of you oh they're just giving me that song by the cure pictures of you hmm. maybe that was your favorite song when you were in school all right two shamrocks somebody's got like a double double irish background double irish mother and father or maybe you've been to ireland a couple times um, or maybe you could just listen, Virgo. It's just the wheel of the, the wheel of fortune, right? We saw that things begin changing for you once you go through this. This is like a dark night of the soul energy. If you haven't gone through it, or if you're going through, maybe there's some residual left. You're going through it again, okay? That that once you go through that, Virgo, then the wheel comes along and things start moving forward. This is luck. Good luck. You're taking a risk, but there's a turning point. You also have a hammer. So, you know, this is also about rebuilding. Maybe you have a hammer out. I actually have a hammer on my bed right now because I was hanging pictures earlier. But maybe you are, um, maybe you work in construction or do something with a hammer. 
Okay. Hammer is very significant. And this is also just like breaking down the old and rebuilding the new. Okay. You have a fish bone. <laughs> I don't know what that. I, well, that was a band. Okay. Or maybe you're going to Fishbone Grill or something. Um, this is, for me, this symbolic message is getting to the heart of things. Like shedding, cutting away the excess and the fat and getting to like the, the, the core of the issue, the core of the matter. Oh, look, there's your black star. Okay, some of you um, may be black sheep of the family or feel like you are or have a connection with someone who who was maybe some of you were um, some of you might have been considered like the scapegoat of the family or just the black sheep. I feel I feel like that's kind of the same thing. And then right, you have the key, Virgo. You got the key. Your strengths, you got the key. You can go whatever you're dealing with. I feel like it's just start accepting and loving yourself. Break out of the energy that's, I want to say, restricting you from your abundance. You know, your abundance is, has always been there, Virgo. It has always been there. It has always been there. On the other side of the door, it has never, it's never, there's never been a lack of abundance for you, Virgo. The only thing that's kept you from that abundance is your own personal restrictions, and those restrictions, perhaps, are were placed on you, right? So this is kind of like changing the tapes. I feel like your message overall here is to change the tapes. I don't care how old you are. Listen to me. I don't care how old you are. I know some of you are like, oh, I want to be president. Well, I mean, I guess you could still try. I don't know. But, I mean, listen, you see those videos of, um, like, for example, like, Oh, okay, I'll just, no, I'm not going to say, I'm not going to use a political figure because I had that happen to me once and everything went to shit, so we're not going to do that. You just see the video of like the 70-year-old woman or 80 or she's 90 and she was a gymnast when she was young and then you see these videos of these women or, or men and they're uh, so high, they're like elderly and they're still doing acrobats. Do you know what I mean? Like if you want, whatever you want to do, Virgo, the world's your oyster. That's the message. I'm leaving that. I want to go see who's going to win this election. I'm super curious. I'd be surprised if anybody's even here tonight. But if you are, thank you for being here. Thank you for always supporting the channel. I love all the comments on Facebook. You guys are super hilarious. Um, all links are in the description box below. Everything you need if you want to get a personal reading and all that stuff. And um, yeah, don't be too hard on yourself, Virgo. Just day at a time. Day at a time, man. Just be happy. As much as, much as you can, right? Just, it's not even like... It's not even that hard, right? Just choose. It's a choice. Happiness is a choice. Um, all right, you guys. So I will see you back here tomorrow. Don't forget to put a like on the way out on the video. And if you enjoy my channel, please do subscribe. Love you. Bye, everybody. I just can't let you go. Lord knows that I've tried to. You said I was the only one. No one likes being like to. You made this mess and left me with the pieces Now I wanna burn all the bridges between us